Mark, the problem is in Buffalo, one place has two inches outside of Okay, and one place has five feet. They said it is so weird. Double nipples there, Jason. Hey, 73. Thanks for hunting down. Have a great weekend. Kilo, Juliet. 73. You are, man. Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. He's got a pile up there. Look at this little MCHS though, Jan. Tell us real quick. Remember this thing? Yeah, this is the new 978, okay, with a built-in battery, and you could snap it out and change it in the field instantly to another battery. That one's got a battery built in. Okay. Uh, they're going to ask, tuner built in? No tuner. I know, it we don't a, use It has a tune tuner. position, so you can at least put out a constant uh, tone hey, bet, and tune it in the field. The it does uh, digital modes. Wait till I flip it to the A. You're not going to believe this. If you're an AM fan like I am, wait till I flip it down to local AM station. It sounds un unbelievable sound. It has a built-in speaker, but I like my Goal Zero bamboo speakers. But does AM, FM, uh, it has a beautiful display. Let me see, and let me get up close up. And you can see, uh, I was on 40 meter AM is how I found out how good the AM worked. And what's interesting is it doesn't change screens. Everything is on the screen. And just use your call without the phonetics quickly. He'll pick it up. KJ4, YZI. Yeah. This guy's got a pile of He does. He's in Arkansas. So, so, I've already made contact with him. So this is Jan, guys. Everybody knows Jan. How you doing, So guys? we do this out here every weekend here on the river. Look at this. Jan's using the, the Jan, what is it, the Buddy Jantenna? That is a, uh, it's a, it's out of Buddy Parts, but it's a, it's a, it's a half wave vertical dive hole. So what I had to do to make it a halfway vertical dipole is I had to make my own link. Let me get buddy, this way. Let me get this way because of the sun and the wind. Yeah, buddy All right. does not make a link to hook the two horizontals together. Okay. So I copied Bruce and 6BT, his halfway vertical, which I also have, the man who started Force, uh, uh, Force, Force 12, 12 antennas. Right. Uh -huh. And so this is a great successful unit here. I use it on 17 and 20. How many bands will it do? Oh, you can do everything from. Well, you just tap eight. the coil. You just tap. You just tap the coil and change it. Uh, but using the capacity hat, that saves me six feet of vertical. So that's on the capacitance hat. Always use the capacitance hat on any antenna that you can. I can get. On. I can get one for my M pass. Is it worth it? Oh yes, it's worth it. it yeah. Saves, like I said, that's equivalent to six more feet of vertical. Oh, okay. So that gives me a match. No tuner needed in the field. And so, this, how much did you pay for this? We call it the MCH. Oh, it's a clone, right? It's a clone. The MS nine seventy eight. It was just under three hundred dollars. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, okay. It's sorry. used. Okay. I have no idea on the new prices whether they're available or not. But if you look at the filters on the left, you got your voltage. You got your voltage on the screen. You got your mic gain on the screen. Your compression on the screen. Your filters and your bandwidth. The radio is amazing what it does. You know I also own uh, two different versions of the... Uh, you, you just said, wow, this wind is killing me here. Uh, you just said that Jim... Uh, Kern made a con. He was making a contact. I heard him. I didn't even on, hear him on, on this. An Ellicraft KX3. And you told me you just said something. You so you no can't interference have... at all. No. Okay. When you get when you're on the table with 705s and uh, and uh, a lot of the other portables. Now, normally in the field, it's more fun to use my cheaper radios. I still have an Elad, which is the greatest sounding little SDR radio. You love that I've little Italian heard. thing, don't you? I have the matching amplifier and speaker also. But you know, guys, under three hundred dollars, you can get the um, you can buy used the U bit X version six, mm -hmm. which I have. I have a U bit X version three. Isn't that called a micro bit X? Okay, yeah, U micro micro bit X. <laughs> well, that's a U, guys. Yeah. You're looking it up. U bit X. It's a backwards U. And you can yeah. buy under two hundred dollars. You can buy. Stay away from the four and the five, and you could fix the problems in the three. But the six is touch screen. It's amazing, and they're available uh, for around two hundred dollars on the internet. You can. Uh, I also use the Tim Ortiz portable wire antennas. Uh huh. So uh, stay tuned. The if you, the Treasure Coast Hamfest.com, December third. We're gonna try to have uh, Tim do a seminar 
via the internet. So if I can record that yep. and we get his permission, I'll have uh, Eric put it out. Yeah, online. I'll be there to record that. We'll make and, a video, um, sure. We're, we made some new antennas in conjunction with Tim. The first one is already out in production, and it's a micro G5 RV, but a micro doublet for 20 meters through 6 meters. It also works on 2 meters. Uh, uh, I got to relive this. Uh, yeah, let's relive this for people because they don't remember what the little Tim Ortiz were. Okay. There you go, right there. Little tiny stealth. Remember, look them on Ham Radio Concepts, the stealth antenna. Okay. Couldn't even see it. Okay, but this is this is ladder. This is the ladder line. Okay. And with 25 feet of wire, we have a micro. Okay, we have a micro uh, doublet, 20 meters to two meters, because I've used it on the KX3 from 20 to two, the KX3, KX2, all the tuners, no problem tuning it. Yep. And what we did. You're not tuning it. You're matching the radio jam. Yes, we're not tuning. It. There's no <laughs> such thing as tuning your antenna. Vola, sola, tita. However that works. Okay. Anyway, we're matching it to the radio. Yeah. But what's nice about it is I had him. Uh, we worked and made it split into two parts, so it folds up. It weighs ounces. It's uh, tins. Yeah, of ounces, beer. man, for poda and soda and stuff. That's amazing. Yeah, and uh, and Goda. We haven't done Goda yet. What's well? Goda will be Eric's golf carts on the air. Oh yeah, if I didn't sell my golf hey, cart. Uh, well, <laughs> Another golf cart, but we're gonna do golf carts on the air. We could do lawnmowers on the air. I'm down. We'll see. Lawnmowers on the okay. air. Uh, anyway, uh, zero turns have a two point. Uh, we have to cut them back a little because they, you know, they're so expensive. So we'll have to lose two points. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One, minimal, one, minimal, no bonus points. No bonus. Points, no bonus right? points. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the latest by Tim. Okay. Another interesting thing, of course. I have my Tim dipoles in the car. Usually I just string a dipole. Oh, I, I asked you about this. Show me. I string a dipole. This is Tim's one-to-one -one little on on So if you have a problem, you put up a, a quick little dipole, a homemade dipole or whatever. This is a QRP on on You can put it on the table at the radio if you want to use part of the coax as a counterpoise or put it at the antenna to even up the... Uh, the uh, polarities, both sides of your dipole. Right. But uh, yeah, just look up. Un -un, it means unbalanced to unbalanced. Right. Oh, we lost the loop over there. The way it's down. guys, it's down. You've seen the wind out here. It is windy, and uh, yeah, always. We're, we're on the Indian River. Once again, beautiful day. It's always, nice always day. great to get out here, isn't it? And, uh, yep. Uh, that's it. From and we always. Beach, Florida. Yep. We always got somebody out here doing something. Jim's always got it uh, under control over here. Nice to see you, Jim. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a little update here from the Vero Beach Amateur Radio Club as they do their, uh, actually, Jim, let me see, Jim's got the uh, helicraft here. Winston-Salem. Huh? Winston-Salem. 7-3, <laughs> everyone. Have a good day.